Assalamu alaikum welcome to cooking is fun with firdaus today's recipe is french macarons these are one of my favorite recipe and i'm very happy that i am sharing it with you guys and uh, if you follow the simple uh, steps which i'm showing you and the measuring the measurements of the ingredients as well then you will also get such wonderful french macarons so let's begin first we will sieve the almond flour and the icing sugar together because this helps to incorporate air next we will beat the egg whites with a pinch of salt and once we reach a frothy consistency we will start adding in the sugar we will add the sugar little by little until we get soft peaks once we get soft peaks we will add vanilla extract so once we add vanilla extract we will beat on a high speed until we get stiff peaks so once we get the stiff peaks which means your egg white is ready i have used 55 grams each egg white which means two egg whites of 110 grams so please ensure that you also use 110 grams of egg whites or two egg whites and beat them until you get stiff peaks like this i'm using a little bit of food color because i want my macaroons to be pink so it's your choice if you want you can use if not you can skip now i divided my flour mixture in three batches and i'm going to mix them one by one first batch using cut and fold method only no other method no other hand mix or stand mix in the first batch i used 11 folds and in the second batch i used 10 folds and for the third batch i used 40 folds now why i'm specifying on the folds is because i don't want your batter to either be under mixed so that you end up with fluffy macaroons or over mixed so you end up with a cracked macaroon or a flat macaroon so please ensure that you keep a track or a count on your folds so that you reach to a consistency of the batter to make perfect macarons now here we are looking in for a ribbon fall of 3 at least 3 ribbons should fall that kind of a consistency we are looking in for so after the 40th fold i checked no it's not ready so i continued still for another like 10 folds and after like 8 or 9th fold or something i checked i had a two ribbons which is not correct so again i started to fold the batter now i think it's almost done but still i was not satisfied so another two three folds and i checked again i think it's ready now let me do another check 1 2 3 yep it's ready now so i used a piping bag to pipe in the macarons using a circle nozzle there you go I'll fix the baking sheet with the help of the batter a little bit here and there and on the baking sheet I started to place my macaroon in this form of circles so here please ensure that you don't move your nozzle until you complete one macaroon you know if you keep moving in your nozzle up and down then again that is going to be a failure for you and no overlapping of batter if you have uh, you know put only little bit in one macaron it's okay if you have taken out the nozzle but please don't overlap it with another set of batter on top of it so once you complete this give a nice tap to your macaron so that they become flat like this and air will release well and if still you find any air bubbles use toothpick to release it and let it dry for 1 hour because after an hour you touch and see you will see they have formed shells like and it's very shiny and they don't stick to your hands as well now i bake this in a preheated oven for 150 degrees celsius for 15 to 18 minutes after that i let them cool down and i began to make my butter and cheese cream frosting first i beated the butter until it was light and fluffy in color then i slowly gradually added the icing sugar along with the vanilla extract and kept on beating until i reached a nice soft and a smooth consistency once i reached that i added the cheese cream cubes to it one by one 
now it's up to you if you want to add cheese cream you can add or if you want to add uh, cheese cream cubes you can add cheese cream cubes so i'm i'm adding cheese cream cubes here so this took like about 5 to 10 minutes of beat on high speed so that you get a nice you know white texture and a nice soft and smooth butter and cheese cream frosting and it was very delicious guys so you should also try this there you go i think it's ready now and i used again a piping bag to fill in my butter and cheese cream frosting there you go so my macaroons are cooling down and see it's cooled down completely and they look so pretty and so tempting just waiting to take a bite of them <laughs> i looked out for the partners for each macaroon <laughs> and then i filled them with the cream and closed it there you go lovely and pretty looking macaroons are ready to take a bite <laughs> that was my irresistible bite so thank you for watching please share like and subscribe until then allah hafiz